Hello my friends, welcome to another exciting episode in our Photoshop FX series. In this video, I'll be showing you how to create a simple glow effect like this inside of Photoshop, just like this. This can be used for your posters and your flyers and for social media designs. If you've not subscribed, now is the best time to subscribe. And don't forget post notification so you miss any video I'll be dropping anytime from now. Without having to waste much time, let's get started. So the first thing I'll do is I'll go to file and click on new. This time I'll just give it this name like this. And um, it's just going to be glow text effect, right? So I'm using a 1920 by 1080 pixels, please. And um, resolution 300 RGB. So I'm just going to click enter. I'm just going to dive right into it. And I'm just going to select. Yes, I'm going to select the image I'm going to be using for this. This particular image is in the resource file of this video, so do well to download it. So the first thing I like to do here is go over to my text and get things started straight. I'll just go over and type what I need to type. So what I'll be typing here is pretty simple and straightforward. It's just going to be glow. But I'm going to be changing this typeface. Um, I'm going to expand it and make it big. And I'm going to come here and change my typeface to a font that is less complicated so for this i'm just going to use um something not too complicated like i said i'm going to be using the montserrat medium and i'm just going to make a couple of adjustment ctrl t and i'm just going to make this smaller so it's not too big i'm just going to drag it all the way to the middle it's very important that you follow every step that i take in this video right so I'm going to put this to minus 75, right? I'm going to move this slightly downwards like this and um, pay close attention to this part. You have to be super attentive here. Now, okay, so to, because this glow, the text, so we want to make it blend in with the leaf, right? So to achieve that, the first thing you want to do is um, we need to create a blend that blends with the leaf, right? So the first thing you need to do is click on the text or click on the typeface and uh, what you want to do is um, yeah click on it first click on typeface so we want to get rid of those leaves and uh, make it look as if it's blended with the leaves so create a mask on the text go over to where you have your brush and make sure you are selecting this hard round pressure brush you can select any hard brush it's fine but i just love using this since you are working on a white mask, make sure your foreground color is set to black like this. Okay? Make sure you turn off your cap locks so your brush isn't coming out as plus. So what you are going to do is you are going to rub off those areas. I'm going to reduce the opacity so I'm seeing the leaf. So I'm going to clean off all these areas in between the text. So to create that illusion, you can control Z when you do a mistake and reduce the size of your brush if you feel it's too big so that you can cover those intricate areas so i'm just going to go over these areas like this delete this part here so it feels that the text is under this particular leaf right so i've gotten rid of this part so i would also come up here to this part here and i'll also get rid of this top here we can revert your mask by pressing X, X for X-Men, and um, painting back those parts you need. So I'm going to do the same thing too for this one here. And I'm just going to conceal these areas, conceal these areas, conceal these areas, until I'm left with that small area, conceal all these areas. Right? You can toggle your opacity of your layer to see if you're actually doing things well. Right? so i'm going to conceal this part also so i'm just going to with my brush selected i'm going to rub off those unnecessary areas that i don't need so you can see now it, it gives that illusion that the leaf is on top and for this one i'm just going to let's see what we can do here um okay so i'm just going to leave this like this and i'm just going to delete this part here like this erase 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 yes you can see that my brush is relatively small uh, i don't want to make it too big so it doesn't 
do just what it, what just happened now so i'm going to restore this part here by clicking the x to revert it and adding it back okie dokie so um now that i have that done right so i can go back and increase the opacity you can see that this has been nicely done this way uh, i'm just going to press x and uh, do a final touch up of all those areas that i missed it's just that place alone right you can see i did a neat job so that's what i expect you also to do so go to over to blending option and um, inside of blending option selecting the text you're going to click on outer glow right so on this outer glow make sure you are, you are seeing this gray option right go over to the settings you can copy my settings i'm using um, 65 blend mode please set to screen right everything else here stays the same you press ok right so having done that the right way i'm going to come here go over to um exposure where is it where is it? i saw just now uh, yeah here you are so bring down the exposure to create that extra dark dark evening look right and what you want to do with this create a new layer on top of this one this is the foreground color i'm using so you can copy my color code click ok and i'm just going to go over to my brush b for brush i'm going to increase the size of the brush but before i do anything i'll change it to the soft round pressure opacity and flow like this and i'm just going to double on the straight line like this not too much just once and i'm going to change my blend mode to yes soft lights okay so i'm just going to create a brightness and curve adjustment i'm going to increase the brightness like this and um, i'm going to reduce the exposure here so to make it more darker like this and um, bring up the gamma correction to make the darks pop more right so um, i can choose to reduce the brightness here also and um, yeah so that's just by the way if you feel this is too much you can also reduce it to what you actually want out of the design okay great okay so like i said you can tweak all of this to best suit what you want to um you want out of the design or the glow itself like i said you can use this for your designs your simple designs and um, just to bring out this glow effect and to actually just create something out of nothing right there are some compositions you get to use this and it just pops so i'll just go back to my text and i'll just type type in something else so it will just be um photoshop effects i'm going to change this to 200 and um ctrl t i'm going to make the text bigger than it is right now so photoshop effects i'm going to bring this downwards not it's not going to stay up there and um yeah this is how i created this nice glow effect inside of photoshop if you like my video you want to see more make sure you like subscribe and turn on post notification i'll see you in the next video just above i love you